Hello Aries, welcome to your reading for November 2021. As I was meditating on your reading, I saw you standing at this bridge. And you were wondering, should I cross this or shouldn't I? You know that old saying is, I will cross that bridge when I come to it. Well, Aries, you're at that bridge now. And you're standing there and you're trying to decide. You're kind of like at a standstill. Trying to decide if you're going to take that gamble, that risk, and cross that bridge. So, we are going to go ahead and get into this. Okay, I do have Archangel Michael here with me. I have Daryl here. And I have Josephine. Daryl is one of my guides. He was my cousin who is now in the afterlife. And Josephine is my grandmother on my father's side of the family. Um, I have both of my grandmothers and my cousin who serve as spirit guides for me. Okay, let's go ahead and dig in. <clears throat> you have the Nine of Wands. Crossed by the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> so you seem to be very much on the defense right now. Or somebody you're dealing with is. And Seven of Pentacles. The Hermit. Knight of Pentacles. Justice. <clears throat> then we have temperance. Six of Wands. Page of Swords. And Four of Pentacles. Under the deck, <clears throat> we have the Strength card. So you have a lot of major Arcana cards here. So this is definitely a major decision for you, Aries. But we are going to go ahead and dig in here. Okay, Aries. Right in the center, your theme. This is your theme for November. This is, and I do apologize about the glare on the cards. <clears throat> Trying to figure out how I can get that ring light from shining on here. Sorry. But here we have somebody standing their ground. You're very guarded, Aries. This is about protecting yourself, standing up for yourself. This is definitely being at a standstill. And this standstill, it's almost as if you were trying to, underneath here, the underline, underneath this, the deck is, or underneath is the Seven of Pentacles. Where you are placing your investments, what you are investing in, assessing. And it is underneath, it is in your subconscious. Sometimes this is fear. I feel like, that you are at this standstill waiting across that bridge because you're fearful that a certain situation is not going to produce fruit. It is not going to, um, 
it's like it's not going to grow there you're afraid of investing in something that is got, not going to go anywhere in the past recent past you sat in the hermit energy or you could have been dealing with somebody with strong virgo okay in the past recent past you kind of been like isolating yourself taking time to yourself doing a lot of thinking there is a lot of thinking in this reading and you're not wanting to move forward very quickly and you could be thinking about an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn but the knight of pentacles Oh, this is Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. All right, this is Ari, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you know, I might call that a mistake on my part, but there's never a mistake. It's like you don't want to move forward very quickly. Maybe somebody else does. Somebody rushing in towards you very swiftly. This could also be somebody ready for battle. And um, you could be sitting in that energy where you're ready for battle because you do have the seven of wands here of you standing up for yourself. Okay. But it's like I get this sense of let's slow things down here, please. Okay. I get that you don't, you're, you want to slow things down. You're not ready to cross that bridge. You're not ready to take the next steps. And what's coming up in the near future is the justice. We have somebody here who's trying to weigh everything out. They, it's like you want to make sure you are making the right decision. And you're not rushing this. And November does not feel very, it, it's eventful, but it's not invent, eventful. And what I mean by that is there's a major change that is happening. Um, a major life shift that it's like ready or not here I come and you're like whoa 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 slow this down I'm not ready I'm not ready but Aries you got to make you got to get yourself ready okay you have a major decision to make this month and you're putting it off as long as you can and by the end of the month you might be still holding your ground up here with the four of pentacles keep keeping things tight to yourself being very protective there's this um you're you're protecting yourself this very protective energy about you okay and i'm hearing december end of november beginning of december sagittarius season okay when th things are really going to start rolling and really start playing out. But the beginning is in the at beginning of November. So by the end of the month, <clears throat> you might be forced with this decision. Am I going to cross this bridge? And there's this fear of maybe the other person not being patient, not waiting. There's like this seems to be this tug and pull. You want to take your time. You want you want to take things slowly while the other person wants to speed things up and get the ball rolling, per se. So there, there's somebody who's in a really big hurry, but you're very laid back and you're like, no, 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 no. I'm not, not quite yet, okay? Their energy is this sense of victory. They have this sense of being exalted. It's like they're, sta they're sitting on their throne they're very confident here with the Six of Wands. And Spirit's advice to you is to, here is talking about speaking your truth with the Page of Swords. Do your due diligence. Do your investigating. And speaking your truth and holding to it. Having that willpower here to resist, having that willpower to hold back. I do feel that there is a necessity to slow things down. It's like for some reason, the person you are dealing with is in this huge 
huge hurry. It's like, gotta have it now. Okay, let's get some clarifications on this. I wanna get clarifications on their energy here. Ten of Wands. They're rushing is creating a burden. They may be feeling burdened down because you are dragging your feet. King of Swords. They're very confident. They've made their decision that you're the one that they want. And they're being very strategic on how they are going to win you. Okay, let's see. Page of Pentacles, and they're coming through with an offer. They're offering you some sort of sense of, st of stability here. They're, de they're definitely communicating how they feel. And Spirit is saying, you have to speak your mind on what you are feeling. Okay, what is this Four of Pentacles, please? Potential outcome by the end of the month, please. Four of Pentacles. This holding on, this protective mode. You're very worried and concerned because they're coming in too quickly. Eight of Wands. Yes, you're worried about their speed. Why are they in such a hurry? You're questioning it. And I think that they're, they are carrying some kind of burden that they need, that they're trying to let go of. Maybe it's financial because we do have pentacles here. And they see your value and your worth. The Sun card. This is about, um, there is a chance of true happiness here. And this is illumination and healing. Um, and Six of Swords, movement. So I feel that you're in this energy of, yes, I do want to move forward with this, but at my own pace. I'm in no hurry is your energy. Their energy is rush, rush, rush. I am bogged down. I'm burdened with this. I, I want this now. They have their mindset that they want you and for whatever reason it is. Um, I can't help but feel that it's financial, Aries. I gotta be honest with you. I feel that there's a lot of financial benefit with this part for this person by hooking up with you, okay? They're, they're trying to shed some light. They're trying to make things look all sunny and rosy. Move forward with me. Come on, jump on board my ship here. Eight of Swords. But you're afraid you're going to get yourself trapped into something. And you might even be overthinking this, Aries. And I'm hearing you need to go with the flow, but don't rush. King of Wands. They, but they are very determined. They are very determined. Okay. They're determined to win you. To win you over. Field of dreams. <clears throat> it's like they're making it out that they are your dream come true. Stuck in the mud. But at the same time, you're coming across as, <clears throat> I don't want to get stuck in a fantasy. Education. So you are definitely investigating. This is you um, checking it out. Maybe you're checking their social media. Your, um, I can almost feel background checks before you rush into this. You're doing your due diligence. You're being very um, strategic on this. You are crossing your T's and dotting your I's. You do, because this person is presenting themselves as bringing happiness. I'm not saying that there's not going to be happiness. I'm feeling that there could be. But I feel your energy is you're just very cautious. Um, you've, you've been burnt before. 
<clears throat> There's the standstill. What did I say before? I felt that you were at a standstill, right? It's like you want to be happy, but you want to be careful. You want to make sure you're not going to get stuck in something that you don't want to be stuck in. So you're kind of at this standstill, standing at that bridge, not quite ready to cross it. Going forward. But I do feel you are going to move forward with this person after you do your investigation. But you're standing still for right now and not making any definite decisions. Family room. Your personal space. Okay. Expectations. Okay, so... You are definitely... <clears throat> this woman is definitely looking at the family room. This is her personal space. It's like you are expecting it to be taken care of. You're expecting to be you to be taken care of on all levels. Bad health. But to you, it's like your intuition is kicking. I feel like this is you. <clears throat> you are expecting the worst in this connection. That is why you are being very cautious. You're expecting the worst because why are they in such a hurry? So, um, Aries, are you going to cross that bridge? I feel you are. But you just have to do your investigations. They are down bound and determined to win you over. You're kind of putting them off. But I don't see them giving up. They're not giving up. So this is kind of your overall theme for November. Uh, the ball's in, going to be in your court, Aries, of what you want and what you want to do. Okay, I do thank you for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Blessed be.